Hey there, here we go into another installment of parametric equations and the calculus of them. In this one, we've got a very specific problem type. We're just going to go over one problem in this video, so it'll be a short one. It's a problem that has come up before. I've seen it on the BC exam and in some Calc 2 courses, definitely in my BC Calc class for sure. It's one where we've got a curve that intersects itself, and we need to find the equations of the tangent line at that point. So on this graph, we're talking right there. One thing you'll never be expected to do, and I put that note down here, is I won't, nor will the BC exam, and likely your teacher won't either, very, very unlikely, that they will ask you, what is the location where the curve intersects? You'll need to know the time, but not be able to find the location of it. That involves some heavy math. A curve defined by the above equations intersects itself at the point 5, 0. There we go. Find the equations of the two tangent lines at 5, 0. So to find the equation of a tangent line, remember that our goal is that we want y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's what we want. But to get there, we need the slope as well as the point. Now we've got the point, we don't have the slope. So how do we find the slope there, or the slopes there? We've got a tangent line there and a tangent line there. See so yeah, we have two of them going on at that point. Let me see if I can draw a little more accurately. We've got one right here going whoosh, and one right there going up like that. So we've got two tangent lines. Now, how do we find those two tangent lines? We need to find the time when we're at this point. To do that, you take each of these values and you set them equal to their respective equations. So this is your x value and that's your y value. I'll take 5 and I'll set that equal to the x equation. This is going to allow me to find the time or times when we pass through x equals 5. So I add 1 to both sides. It's going to be 6 equals 2t squared. Divide by 2. And we get the square root of, whoa, sorry, I'm skipping ahead there. We get 3. Got a little excited. We get 3 equals t squared. When we take a square root of both sides, remember you got to consider the plus or minus. So you got minus the square root of 3 as well as the square root of 3. Because either one of those squared will give you positive 3. Okay, so these are possible t values um, for our slope. The other thing I'm going to check too is if I plug in this t value into here, do I get out 0? If you check it, negative root 3 cubed minus root 3, and once you multiply by the 1 third, does equal 0, the y value. And same with positive root 3 as well. You can take my word for it, or you could try it out. It equals out to 0. Um, or we could have solved out and said, you know what? I'm going to set 0 equal to 1 third t cubed minus t and solve. So that'll be 0 equals the GCF is t. So it's 1 third t squared minus 1. And each of these parts are equal to 0. So you have t equals 0. And you have when this is equal to 0. So I'll do that out to the side. 1 third t squared is equal to 1, essentially. So when we solve that out, we get t squared is equal to add 1, multiply by 3. 3. Nice. So t is equal to plus or minus root 3. So what gives? We've got three times when the y value is 0. But there's only once, twice where we cross there. That's the third point. That's t equals 0, where y is also 0. That's not the point of intersection. So it's the time or times that are the same that we're concerned with. So it's at negative root 3 and positive root 3 that we have the point 5, 0 occurring. Great. So we've got the point 5, 0, which we're going to use in our tangent line. Now we need the slope. So as we've been finding in the past, we're going to find x prime of t, which we know is 4t. We found that in many previous videos. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos, well then... This is the first time you found the derivatives of these. The derivative of this is t squared minus 1. Okay, so now we need the slope uh, at each of these times. So I'm going to find dy dx at t equals negative root 3. That's plugging in negative root 3 into each of these. Negative root 3 squared. This is y prime at negative root 3 minus 1. All over 4 times negative root 3 is going to be equal to, this will be 3 minus 1 is 2 over 4 times negative root 3 is negative 4 root 3, which is negative 1 over 2 root 3, and I'm not going to simplify that. Now, if you find dy dx at t equals root 3, that's the slope of this line. So here's, right there's the negative slope coming around this way, and then we go, whoop, there's the positive slope as we exit out of the loop, and that's going to be equal to root 3 squared minus 1, just plugging it into y prime right there, all over 4 times the square root of 3. And this is going to go down to 2 over 4 root 3, which is equal to 1 over 2 root 3. So these are our two slopes. So we've got two tangent line equations, y minus 0, that's the y value, 
equals negative 1 over 2 root 3 times x minus 5. That's the point that we have right there. That's one equation. We still are at the same point, but we have a second slope coming out of that loop of 1 over 2 root 3 times x uh, minus 5. And those are our two equations of our tangent lines, one going entering, the other exiting the loop. Sick problem. It comes up decently enough, uh, but you're ready for it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.